Okay, these are the two coils that I'll be using. This is a single wound coil, and this is a bifiller. And you can see this is where their leads are soldered together, and they just come out and they're twisted so I can hook them to a power supply. Okay. The way I'm going to energize the mag the uh, pancake coil to make it a magnet is I have a uh, little power supply DC 10 volts 700 milliamps and I've got that on a power strip alright so now I'm going to move this around a little bit so you can see the uh, relationship of the uh, thing pointing north and it happens to be the north pole where the hole is. It points clearly to the hole. Pointing towards the hole. It seems that as you get towards the edge though it uh distorts a little bit but if you're perpendicular more perpendicular to the to the coil it tries to point right towards the hole so now I'm going to just turn this at about a 45 degree angle here okay on my pad and see what the uh, compass tells me It kind of goes sideways. I bring this over to where it's more in line with this. Again, it's pointing to the hole. So that must mean that the lines of flux are kind of going around like this. Around uh, like this. Like a, a donut, so to speak. If I get on the other side of this coil, what will happen? Will it flip around and start saying south? Sure does. Ooh, everything's heating up. This is a uh, mono filler or a single strand. You know, I have one continuous strand of wire that goes around. It's like 51 turns, 51 or 52 turns, depending on where you measure it. And uh, here's the compass. I'm going to put it six inches out. which is right over this hole here. Thereabouts. And I'm going to rotate the whole business that's on this uh, work pad here. I'm going to rotate the whole thing till it's pointing north. if I shake it a little bit. It's jumpy within a degree or so. Okay. I'm going to power on the uh, coil here with the power on switch. You see the magnet. I mean the uh, coil energizes. You get about 82 82 and a half degrees. Turn it off. This is the bifiller. 
my father. And I'm set up north, six inches out on the ruler. And let's see what the deflection is. I'm going to hit the switch. Okay, this is a bifiller, biffler, at nine inches. Okay. Seventy one degrees. Seventy. Okay, I'll switch the coil out. It's a single wound coil. Nine inches out. You know, with this setup, I can't measure a difference in the a measurable difference or an appreciable difference between the bifiller and the uh, single wound. 